everybody. And uh, thank you for coming. I'll try not to speak too loudly so I don't wake anybody up. <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, I'm Neville Roberts and I write for Hi-Fi Choice magazine in this country. Uh, and uh, my background is uh, I'm a technical uh, technical person uh, and uh, a, a long time music lover and I've been interested in high five since I was a child. Neville is also one of the contributors to the Real to Real Rambler and a self-confessed fan of all things tape. Um, so Neville has been with us today giving an excellent presentation on among other things what it is that makes analog and tape in particular so much superior in terms of sound quality. Um, now Neville did that in about 30 to 45 minutes in the room today, but right now I'm going to put him on the spot and say, so you're standing in front of somebody right now who is um, basically an, an aficionado of the digital world and is yet to be convinced of the, the joys of analog. You've got 30 seconds to convince them, go. Golly, well I can only use the words of a, a friend of mine uh, who writes for another magazine, Adam Smith, and his words were, uh, digital is, is a bit like trying to reconstitute a cow from mints. <laughs> and I think that says it pretty well, perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did that in 10 seconds, Thank actually. you. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot it, you've got 20 to go, is there anything right. like to add yeah. to that? Yes, uh, uh, seriously, um, analogue has this sense of reality. Uh, it captures the uh, ambience, the truth three-dimensionality of sound you just don't get with, with digital. It doesn't matter how good the resolution is, in my opinion, you just don't get that element of realism uh, uh, and re reproduction of the uh, acoustic environment of a, 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 record, uh, a hall in your own listing. And you just don't get that with anything other than uh, analogue. Well, I'm convinced. <laughs> Um, with that in mind, um, if you could get your hands on absolutely any piece of recorded music, regardless of um, what era or what genre, and you could have that as a master tape to, to, to have and to hold as your very own, well, well, I know that's a ridiculous question, there's probably hundreds, but uh, putting you on the spot again, if you could just have one, what would that one be? Uh, well, right now, the one that comes to mind would be uh, my favourite composer, Vivaldi. Uh, and it would be his Opus 3 work of 12 concertos uh, and that would just be wonderful to have had the original recording as he uh, envisaged it when he wrote it uh, back in the, uh, in the uh, uh, 17th century, I think. Wonderful. Thanks so much for your time, Neville. Thank you Enjoy much. the rest of the show. Thank you.